Hey guys, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This video is a part 2 of the trying coffee art series that I'm doing. But the difference between this week's video and the first part is going to be that in the first video I used coffee to paint something. Whereas in this part, I'm going to draw something on the coffee. So I'll be trying spill art for the first time where I basically just spill some coffee on my paper. Then with a black pen, I'll draw something on it. So if you're excited to watch this video, make sure to like it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Also share this video with your friends and family. Before we get started, here are this week's shoutout winners. Thank you very much for all your love and support. If you want to be next week's shoutout winner, all you have to do is like this video and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends and family and then comment down in the comment section down below. Also, I'm extremely sorry I forgot to put a picture for Ruhi's artwork in my last week's video. So. Here is Ruby's artwork which she did, which was inspired from one of my videos. So if you want your artwork to be featured in my next video, all you have to do is click a picture and send it to me on my email ID, which is imtheabstractgirl at the rate gmail.com. You can also click a picture of your artwork and share them on your stories and then tag me. My Instagram is theabstractgirl underscore 30 and I'll surely repost and give you a shout out on Instagram as well. So without further ado, let's get started. To start with, I have this A4 size watercolor paper and some coffee where I've mixed milk with some coffee powder. Next I have a thin black pen. Now I have this coffee and I'm going to spill it all over the paper randomly. Next, I'm going to let it dry for some time. If you've poured a lot of coffee, you can easily soak it with a napkin or some tissue papers. Next, I'm going to use a lighter tone of coffee where I've just used water with coffee and then pour it on the paper. If you feel like the water is staying and making puddles, you can use a paintbrush and spread it. Now that both the layers of my coffee is dry, I am going to use the black pen. Now I am going to use my imagination and interpret these splashes and blobs of coffee into objects and then outline them. As you can see here I made a fish like shape and then filled it with different patterns. At the bottom, I'm making some sand. Now, as I was going further to draw things, I could see different um, sea creatures and sea plants. So that's what I decided to draw. So right now, I'm just outlining different plants and shapes of fishes, and then I'm going to fill them with different patterns. Here I decided to make an underwater inspired artwork but you can think of a theme and then draw the objects around that particular theme.
That's all I have for you guys in this week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, and I hope you did, uh, make sure to like the video. Do not forget to subscribe if you haven't already. Share this video with your friends and family so more and more people can be inspired by my art. Also, comment in the comment section down below if you have any other ideas or suggestions as to what I should show in my next video. See you next week.